Hi everyone, Mr. E here with another Tinkercad SimLab tutorial. And if you don't know what SimLab is, it's part of the 3D design space in Tinkercad. It lets you take simple 3D designs like this and apply real world physics to your design to see how parts might interact with motion. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna look at the new Tinkercad SimLab connectors, which isn't something that was available in some of my earlier tutorials when I tried to make a car roll with axles and things. So I'm really excited to share how these connectors can enhance your Tinkercad design. Now the first connector that we're going to look at is called the axle connector. And the axle connector allows us to create revolutions around different objects. So for example, I have two spheres, and I'm gonna set this large yellow sphere to be static, meaning that it won't move, and my blue sphere will be dynamic, so it does move. I'm then going to bring the axle connector in, and I'm gonna use my align tools by selecting the yellow sphere and the axle connector and the align tool to center the axle connector in with the middle of my sphere. You can see that this blue line will actually let us tilt the axle connector. I don't wanna do that just yet. And I can also take one of these grab handles to assign the parts of the axle connector to my different shapes. So the orange handle, which goes on the base of our axle, can be connected to my yellow sphere, and the blue handle can be attached to my blue sphere. What this will allow us to do if we run our simulation and then throw something at our blue sphere to give it motion, is it lets us actually create revolutions around our different objects. If I take this top handle that we talked about earlier and tilt my axle connector a little bit, you'll see that now our revolution has a bit of a slope. So it starts moving on its own, and if we throw something, we can create this nice little orbiting pattern. Now, one of my favorite ways to use the axle connector is to make wheels and axles. So for example, if I take a super simple box and let's add some really basic wheels on the sides here, Maybe we have to make these a little bit bigger. Something like this, we can make a car. Now we could make a more detailed design where you actually have axles that pass all the way through the car, but that isn't actually necessary to use the axle connectors. Let me drag out four axle connectors. For each one, I'm going to rotate the axle connector so it's sideways to match the orientation of my wheel, and I'm going to align it with the wheels using the align tool. If you want something to not move when you use the align tool, we can actually click on it. So for example, I can click on the cylinder, and now when I align my shapes, the axle connector moves and the cylinder does not. So I'm gonna repeat this process for each wheel. And then I'm gonna assign my handles to the different objects. So the orange handle is going to go on the wheel, and the blue handle is gonna go on my car. Now when we start our simulation, we can see that our car rolls a little bit. And that happens because something's probably not perfectly aligned. I'm gonna head back over to my modeling stage. And the nice thing about connectors is they stay with your model. So if I were to scale this car down and perhaps raise it up and snap it to a ramp that I'm gonna bring in here, the axle connectors will remain in the same place and also be proportional with my model as I move things around. Let's test our car prototype now. Awesome. Now something else you can do with your connectors is turn them into motors that apply motion themselves. So for example, I've switched to this catapult model from my book, taking Tinkercad to the next level. And when I click on this connector, you'll see that I've actually added motor torque and motor RPM. That means that this motor is now gonna apply a force, a rotational force, to my catapult model, as if I had some rubber bands tied around this catapult. So that way I can test the motion of my prototypes in real time to see how they might perform in Tinkercad SimLab. If you wanna learn more about the other connectors, check out my other tutorial videos. For the sake of time, I'm keeping this one short and only talking about the axle connector here. But thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.